Okay, Shalom. Okay, I got another uh, quick knockout punch of these Edomites. Uh, some massive one hit knockout Tyson blows. <laughs> okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. Okay, Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai, Brakat the Rakakadash. Okay, double honors to the apostles, the great millstone. Okay, elders of GMS. All right, funny thing is, um, it looks like we're not supposed to be commenting on these, on these scriptures. It's how they're trying to make it look. They try and turn it into hate speech, you know, inciting violence. And the reason why I got my damn channel suspended a few weeks ago in the first place, you know. All, and all we're doing is just reading the scriptures here, you know. For example, Deuteronomy. 19 to 21 and thy eye shall not pity <laughs> but life shall go for life eye for eye tooth for tooth hand for hand foot for foot all right <laughs> key but life shall go for life okay let me go back to this here okay and just reading the scripture is enough no need to add a fire on it it speaks for itself the scripture Tragedy in Wrightsville, Arkansas. What really happened in 1959? Okay. Do a search on this, y'all. Just lock it. Let me go back. There's a couple of these on here. Negro Boas, Industrial School Fire in 1959. On March 5th, 1959, 21 African-American boys burned to death inside a dormitory at an Arkansas reform school in Wrightsville, Pulaski County. The doors were locked from the outside. The fire mysteriously ignited around 4 a.m. on a cold, wet morning following earlier thunderstorms in the same area of rural Pulaski County. The institution was one mile down a dirt road from the mostly black town of Wrightsville, then an un- incorporated Hamlet 13 miles south of Little Rock. 48 children ages 13 to 17 managed to claw their way to safety by knocking out two of the window screens amidst the choking, blinding smoke and heat. Four or five boys at the time tried to fight their way forward through the narrow openings as a fire began to devour them. Survivors never forgot the horror of that fire. The wife of one of the survivors lady said, later said, an interview before her husband's death from cancer that he had continued to dream about the fire. The event brought attention to this largely forgotten institution that was operating during the Jim Crow era in Arkansas. Founded in 1923, the Arkansas Negro Boys Industrial School was, for most of its existence, a juvenile work farm located first outside Pine Bluff and then in the mid-1930s outside of Wrightsville. Okay. Let's go this up in here. You notice the, how they said the, the doors were chained from the outside. Um. This was covered up, swept under the rug. When the smoke cleared that March morning in 1959, the boys who burned to death were found piled on top of one another in the corner of the dormitory. The 48 who had survived managed to escape by prying off mesh metal screens from two windows. Most of the boys can't imagine a horror that died in that fire like that, man. You know, it only tells you this place is going to get what it deserves. This place is going to go out the same way. Most of the boys that were killed have run back to the corner of the building. If you look at the diagram, you can see that although there were a couple of doors, in fact, we know there was no one there to unlock the doors, says Stockley. The horrific event briefly made headlines that also brought attention to the 
the squalor and deplorable conditions in which the boys lived. The conditions were to a point where when 69 boys all go to bed at night in a space barely big enough for them to move around and they are one foot apart from one another and you had to get up at night and go to the bathroom, they had to defecate in buckets. <sighs> the boys went around the rags. They had one 30-gallon water tank for them to take baths. Says Stokely. Mm. Devil something else, man. This is, like I said, there's endless of things like this. Especially, those, you know, the books that we bought through the years that, you know, that, uh, that, you know, give, that mentions a lot of these accounts. Devil is something else. Shalom.